What's up everyone? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover two things. The first thing is going to be setting preset filters inside your UPC scraper. So you can actually save the filters that you're making and where you're organizing the information and the prerequisites you put in like sales rank and price and net profit. So every time you upload a catalog, you don't have to go back and input that information. And the second thing we're going to be covering is a quick overview of how simple it is to upload a catalog. In the previous video, we showed you how to upload the catalog and we reviewed everything step by step. Now I just want to show you how easy it is and how simple it is and how it just takes a couple minutes for you to upload one of these catalogs and start your product research. So let's get right into it. In the right here, you have your filters. So if we click on filters and you click these three dots, you'll notice there's no um, option here other than load a preset or clear. So what we're going to do is actually create a preset. So based on the information we covered in the previous video for this catalog, we're going to do greater than or equal to a sales rank of one. And then we're also going to set up a less than or equal to rank of 250 for this specific catalog, 250,000. So we're going to add that. And then we're also going to go down to, or up rather, to net profit. And we're going to do greater than, you can do greater than or equal. Same thing we did in the last one, which was 250. And then we're going to do a less than or equal to, same thing as last one, $40. And then the last thing we're going to do is price and price we're going to do greater than six bucks because we don't want to be buying anything that's less than six dollars. And the last thing we're going to do is reorganize this a little bit. I like to bring the brand down. And like I said, you could set these up however you'd like. This is just how I'm setting my catalog up, how I like to kind of analyze it. So we're going to bring that down and we're going to bring package quantity under title. So let me bring package quantity, where's that? Uh, it's right here. So let me bring package quantity under title. We'll put that right there. And then I just want to switch margin and ROI because typically we like to focus on margin. That I believe is all the changes I can make or that I'd like to make. And now we're going to click these three dots now that we have everything set up and we're going to create a preset and then remember in the last video I said different catalogs, different vendors will have different rank requirements depending on the products that we sell. So we're actually going to name this one the 250k BSR or less. So this is a preset that I would upload any catalog that has like grocery or beauty or home and kitchen. This is not the preset I would use for a catalog that has mainly sporting goods or baby or um, outdoor or patio or industrial scientific or like those are not presets I would want for that specific catalog. So this will be our 250k BSR or less preset. It's going to upload and you're waiting for it to sort and we're not going to wait. We're just going to swing over here to one that's been sorted already. And as you can see now, everything is exactly where we've outlined it. All right, so now I'm going to show you just how simple it is once you start to get the hang of things using a UPC scraper, how simple it is to upload a catalog, select your prerequisites, uh, update pack sizes, and then get, get started on some product research, which we're going to cover in the subsequent video. So you'd simply go to new scan here. You would either drag or select your file. So we got our file right here. First thing search by, we're going to do UPC. Next, we want to indicate what column that is in. So we select UPC, cost of the product, which here is price. So we'd select price, and now we want to add all of our additional columns. So we're going to want item number, description, we already have UPC, um, but we want to have available, we're going to have unit of measure, number of sleeves, sleeve size, case pack. And then you'd simply click start, and it'll take a couple minutes to upload, but we're not going to wait. We're going to pop over to one that was completed already. So this is what it'll look like after you wait about two to three minutes. And now you have your file. You'd simply go over to your filters. You'd select the three dots. You'd load your preset. This is the preset we set up just a couple minutes ago, 250 KLS. You'd 
pop off the preset option it would upload that preset filter into this catalog and then all you'd simply do is go down the line to these 296 products and start uploading pack sizes so here it looks like 24 pack yes 12 pack yes six pack yes eight pack yes six pack yes 12 pack yes 12 pack yes six pack not a one pack so we'd update that and you'd simply go all the way down this list all 296 products which we said in the last video took about 15 minutes so the upload process you know took takes about three to four minutes and then the sorting through the package quantity will take another 10 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your catalog but once you do all of this you're essentially ready to do your product research and that's what we're going to cover in thorough detail in the subsequent video. So see you inside the next video. Stay lit.